Well, friends, here we're starting off not too good. Here I thought I was recording when I wasn't and recording when I didn't want to. But I got a little better as the game went along. Anyways, I hit this one about 230 yards down the middle of the fairway, and that's a really good feeling when you're on the first hole. So my second shot was easy. It was a little uh, pitching wedge up to the green, and I hit it really good. Made it a little bit down to the left of the green, but I'm on the green putting for birdie. I'm excited. About 15, 20 feet from the pin, straight uphill, shouldn't go break too much. And so I gave it a good ride up to the hole, I just didn't hit it hard enough. Ah, close. That's alright, I'm close enough now, I can easily get a par, right? Wrong. I ended up getting a bogey. Now I don't know if you noticed there was a ball coming in there. I don't know what my friend was. I think he said he he told me he, he thought I needed a ball. I don't know. Anyway, okay, we're on the second hole. We're at plus one. Here we go with a par five. It's a long one, and I'm going to hit this one. I hit it pretty good right down the left-hand side. Good enough to go down there to where now all I got to do is take a seven iron to the green. Hopefully I'll get it on there, but it was in the rough, and I didn't realize it. But I didn't have that good of a lie, so it didn't carry as well. So I'm about 25 yards from the green now. And all I want to do is just chip it up there close. Hopefully it will go up there and right up close to the pin. I'm just going to aim right at the pin. My problem is, is I didn't take the slope. As you can see, oh my gosh, look at that. It rolled all the way, almost down to the other side of the green. And it kept rolling. Now, just so you know, that was another technical difficulty, but I ended up bogeying that one. So we're at plus one. Here we are on hole three, and I hit this drive beautifully right down the middle. I cannot complain about the drives today. I had a great one with a little baby draw on it, and it was just perfect. Felt good on that one. Here I am. Just going to take a little seven iron and kind of chip it up there to the green. Got it on the green, and I'm putting for a birdie. Now, all I got to do is put it in, and I get a birdie, and I'm back to even. Come on, Mike. Think. Think, think, think. Breaks a little to the right, so go for it. Here we go. And I gave it a good hit right up to the hole. Yeah! Hey! I got a birdie. I was excited. Now I'm back to even par on the hole number four. Again, another uh, technical difficulty there where I actually had a nice uh, approach to par three. I just hit it over the green and it's off a little bit. So I'm going to put this up there and I gave it a good whack. Unfortunately, it hit the hole and and kept running. <laughs> so now I'm forced to put a six footer into for a par. Now I've seen Rory, I've seen Phil, I've seen them all do this. It's easy, right? Yeah, simple. <laughs> and I got it even. I'm still at even. I'm in par. Here we are on hole number five, long par four. And the idea is to go right over that tree so that it will cut cross. And I did exactly that. Told you, my drives were great today. So now I'm looking at uh, just about, probably about another 100 yards to the green. So I'm taking my pitching wedge and hit it lightly. Get it up high in the air. Hopefully it'll stop on the green. And there we go. Uh-oh. It's going to the right. Yeah, it's on the green. But it's a little far to the right. The left, I mean. Okay. Well, just concentrate, Mike. You're putting for a birdie. And here I go. Oh my gosh, that's not even close. And it kept running, and it kept running, and it kept running. Oh my god, it went another 10 feet from the pin. Okay, straight in. No break. Right in the hole. Come on, Mike. You can do it. Par. Come on. Yeah, par. Got it. On to hole number six. Hole number six is really... You see those two uh, trees opening right there? That's where I want to go, and that's where I went. Actually, I went over the left tree, but... It still played out well because now I'm only 150 yards from the green. Or 100 yards from the green. Another pitching wedge to the green. Just put it up there close. 
I know I can get it up there. I hit the pitching wedge up there. And it went high in the air, so I knew it was going to stop. Oh my goodness, I'm right there at the pin. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this is for a birdie, another birdie. Oh my gosh, am I gonna be one under? I've never been under. So here we go. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna be one under. No, man, I didn't even come close to that one. I don't know what I was thinking there. So I ended up with a bogey. Okay, or I ended up with a par, sorry. So I mean, I'm still even. So here we are on hole seven. Hole seven is interesting because you see that little gully down there? Well, it's got water in it, so you can't really drive it down there. So I took a seven iron and I hit it right out there in the middle. And again, I took my seven iron to the green. I'm about 150 yards from the green. So I'm going to hit that seven yard. And I hit it really good right at the pin, stuck at the pin. And then, man, it just kept going to the right. It just kept going to the right, 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 almost off to the green. So now I'm putting this. Hopefully, this is another one for a bird. There goes my friend Richard again. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't even close. Here we go. And thinking of, speaking of not even close, that wasn't even close. To I guess I was thinking of the three-foot rule. Keep it within the three feet. <laughs> uh, Phil Mokerson teaches you a little drill about three feet around in a circle. So I guess that's what I was thinking. Keep it around the three feet. Yeah, it's straight in, Mike. Go for it. Come on. Straight in for par. Yeah, got it. Par. Now we're on to hole number eight, which is a par three. And I take my eight iron, and I'm thinking, okay, 170 yards, easy. Boom! My gosh, I clobbered that one. And it went over the green, over the cart path, and there I am. I'm about 50 yards from the green, and I've got to hit back to the green. So I take my uh, 56 wedge and dropped it. Good shot, Mike. Now just par it. Come on, just par it. Just par it. Put it on there. Oh my gosh, if you could see that. It actually wrapped around the hole. So I ended up with a bogey. Ah, plus one. Now I know this thing says even, but it's actually plus one, and I know that. All right, so talking about taking your frustrations out, no, nope, I didn't. I cleared my head, got my head back in the game, and man, I've drove that almost 300 yards. I was so happy with that drive. I'm right there on the edge. Just another little wedge shot up to the green. Oh, got a hold of that one too, and it went over the pat flag and almost off the green again. So now I'm putting for a bird, but man, I wish I could putt closer. Here I am, you know, 20 feet away, and I'm not even close, but I am in that three feet range. Come on, Mike. Here we go. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Yeah, I got it. Woo! I finished up with plus one. If you like to play golf, you really should consider joining Golf Tour Club and start playing golf as much as you like. We play golf with friends and associates and we share with them the Golf Tour Club video. And if they want to join, they can. They make a $25 payment and join the Golf Tour Club. I mean, it's simple and fun, always exciting to play. And if you want to know more info about Golf Tour Club, please click the link below and watch the video. Now, if you want to contact me personally, please feel free to comment below or just message me on the link below and my contact information is all there. It's only a one-time payment of $25 to join, plus the $5 admin fee. And you make $25 on your very first person that joins you on your team. Well, thank you so much for joining me and sharing with this fun little golf course, Old Fort Golf Club. And I hope you will join me next week when we are playing a course in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's my old home course that I played when I was 13, 14, and 15 years old. It should be a lot of fun. It's been my joy to share with you my passion and love for the game of golf. Hope you will join us with Golf Tour Club. We're having fun playing golf and making money, and you can do it too. Now I'm off to Las Vegas to play Bali High. Have fun and see you next week.